This is Dr. B. In this video, we're going to balance Fe2O3 plus CO yields Fe plus CO2. It's a bit of a challenging equation to balance, so stay with me as I work through this. First, I've already written down the atoms on each side of the equation. And next, I'll write down how many I have of each atom. We have two iron atoms. We have three oxygen atoms here plus the one here. So we have four oxygen atoms, and then we have the one carbon. On the product side, we have one iron, two oxygens, and one carbon. The iron is really easy to balance. We'll just put a two here to get that out of the way. One times two. So we have two irons, that's fine. And the carbons are already balanced. So it looks like to balance the equation, all I need to do is put a two in front of the CO2, and then two times two would give me four oxygens but I also need to update the carbon. So the one times the two here, that gives me two carbons. So I fixed the oxygens and now the carbons are messed up. And it seems like it would be pretty easy to do that. We could put a two right here and then the one times the two, that would equal two. That would fix the carbons, but now I need to update the oxygens. So I have the three oxygens here and then I have the one times the two, the two oxygens there. And now I have five oxygens. So things are looking a little bit more challenging right now with that odd number of oxygens. Typically what I like to do is when I have an odd number of oxygens like the five here is get that to be an even number. And really the best way to do that is I have the three here. So if I put a three in front of the CO, that would be three plus the three oxygens. That'd be six. So I'm going to give that a try. So here's my three and now I'll update my oxygens. I have the three here plus the one times the three. That gives me six. And now my carbons, I have the one times the three, so I need to update that. I have the one times the three, and that gives me three carbons. So now things aren't looking really great, but I think I can fix the oxygens, which is really what I'd like to do. And sometimes when you do that, everything else kind of falls into place. So if I put a three in front of the carbon dioxide, that would give me six oxygens and that would balance that. Let's try that. So I put my three here and then two times three, that gives me six. Now our oxygens are okay. And the carbons, let's update those. I have the one times the three. So I have three carbons here and actually I have three carbons here and we've balanced the equation. So that's the balanced equation for Fe2O3 plus CO yields Fe plus CO2. A bit more challenging equation. Other things you could do, there are techniques where you use an algebraic type approach to figure out the coefficients. That might be the next place I would go if I couldn't solve this. Likely I'd probably look at an online balancing type program which uses those algebraic approaches to see what the coefficients are and work back from that. Can't always do that on an exam though. Um, at any rate, this is the balanced equation for iron three oxide plus carbon monoxide yields iron plus carbon dioxide. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.